Students returned back to class today after classes closed back in March due to the coronavirus. News 11's Ginella Giglino joined them on their first day back to see how things have changed. Ginella. For the last seven months, classrooms have been empty and school playgrounds have been quiet. But I had the opportunity to join a group of Westmoreland students on their first day back at school. They haven't been here in months, but now that they are back, Things are different. Temperature checks and masks are a requirement upon arrival. The students that returned are in the school's special education program. They have a greater need for in-person sensory learning. Our one student just run down towards his teachers, just melt your heart. Um, the students uh, love going to school and they love interacting with their peers. So every opportunity we can have for them to come on campus is, is just a... Uh, it's just a joy. Classroom sizes are small to allow social distancing, and each classroom is equipped with hand sanitizer as well as other products to keep everyone safe. The small cohort setting, we're really only bringing back six students, um, three in each classroom, and even then they're not all at the, they have different schedules, so they're not in, at, in the classroom at the same time. The school also came up with a creative and efficient way to clean and sanitize the classrooms. So when uh, there's somebody in the room, the red should be out here in the door. And basically what that says is that the room is being used mm -hmm. and that they shouldn't, they shouldn't, they shouldn't come in. With that, when the adult leaves for the day, they'll, re they'll remove the red and they'll put the yellow. What the yellow tells is that there's nobody in the room, but it needs to get cleaned. Mm -hmm. So every morning and every afternoon when our maintenance staff comes in or before they leave, if they see a yellow, they know that's a room that needs to be disinfected. One parent tells me that while she was nervous for her child to return, it was needed. I'm not going to kid you, it's very nerve-wracking, but he needed to be back. And I'm confident that he's going to take off just where he left at and that he's going to excel and continue to do great. The school tells me as of now there aren't any other plans for other students to return back to school. Reporting in Westmoreland, Giannella Giglino, News 11.